Ministry of Health of Ukraine. Croc 2. Medicine. Year 2019. Number 068. A 22-day-old infant developed subcutaneous red nodes from 1.0 to 1.5 cm in size on the scalp. Later, the nodes suppurated. Temperature increased up to 37.7 degrees C. Intoxication symptoms appeared. Regional. Lymph nodes enlarged. Complete blood count. Anemia. Leukocytosis. Neutrocytosis. Increased ESR. What? Diagnosis can be made? A. Pemphigus. B. Pseudofurunculosis. C. D. Vesiculopustulosis. E. Scalp phlegmon. Pseudofurunculosis is a purulent lesion of sweat glands by Staphylococcus aureus, most common. Proteus, hemolytic Staphylococcus, E. coli, and other flora. It is a purulent inflammatory skin. Diseases or pyoderma. It mainly affects newborns and children under one year old. In adults, the disease is extremely rare. Weakened children with hypotrophy, rickets, immune disorders, anemia, hypovitaminosis are predisposed. Infection of the sweat glands is promoted by improper nursing, dirty underwear and clothes, excessive sweating, overheating, diarrhea, infectious diseases. It can be complicated by the development of conjunctivitis, otitis, sinusitis, phlegmon, or pneumonia. In severe cases, purulent meningitis, osteomyelitis, and sepsis are possible. In some cases, the infectious process affects only the mouths of the excretory ducts of the sweat glands with the development of paraparitis. At the same time, small superficial pustules form on the skin, after which crusts remain, which eventually disappear without scarring or hyperpigmentation. However, more often there is a complete defeat of the sweat glands. Subcutaneous nodules appear, characterized by a dense consistency. At the beginning, the skin above the nodules looks healthy. But gradually, it increases in size and acquires a red-bluish color. The skin on the tops of such nodes becomes thinner and breaks through with the expiration of purulent yellow-green contents. Healing occurs with the formation of a scar. Risk factors for recurrent furunculosis, positive family history, most common, anemia. Previous antibiotic therapy, diabetes mellitus, previous hospitalization, multiplicity of lesions. Poor personal hygiene. The diagnosis is based on the results of dermatological examination and bacteriological examination of the separated nodes. Recurrent staphylococcal furunculosis is associated with significantly lower serum iron concentrations. Furunculosis can resolve after three to four weeks treatment with iron supplements. It can be also treated with the use of antibiotics, detoxifying solutions, immunocorrectors, etc. The answer is B. Pseudofurunculosis.